Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week 176 of Build Your Stash and Craft. Today we are going to make our own iron-on snippet rolls and you can do them with fabric. Well, you can do them with paper for sure. I think you can do them with fabric. We're going to find out. We're going to do fabric next. But um, this is what we are going to make. This is the snippet roll that I made. And this snippet roll is iron-on. And here are... I actually have cut off the bottom here and I ironed a piece onto fabric and so that is stuck on there really well. Um, my iron-on is only this big so my edges here are, are loose um, but it is ironed on there very well and then I also tried to iron it on to fabric and so here is another piece of that snippet that is ironed on to the fabric so it only goes you know again my um, iron on is only so wide but you could pull it off if you wanted to yeah if you try hard um, it's ripping the paper there but um but it is ironed on there very well and so we're also going to make one we're going to try and make one where all the snippets are fabric and again the fabric and the paper are made exactly the same way the snippet rolls are so set those aside and again this is the rest of that snippet roll and how did we make it iron on plastic wrap so we just have cheap plastic wrap from the Dollar Tree and this is what we are going to use to iron on our to make it an iron on snippet roll and so oops, this is for something else and so I grabbed out a bunch of fabric. I also have paper here, but I think we'll just make one. There's no point in making two. You'd make the paper one exactly the same way as the fabric. You just sew some snippets on. And so I just grabbed out a few pieces of fabric, um, some of our dyed fabric, some burlap. I did get some, some white fabric to go behind the burlap because I don't want the iron-on to come through the burlap. I'm not sure if that could happen. So, and then a little piece of an old shirt that I have in our stash that I, from a long time ago when we made some flowers. This is another bit of a shirt and some more of our dyed fabrics and even a little piece of our um, little ruffle that we made when we got our sewing machine. So this is what we're going to make our snippet out of. And then the way to do that is to just take a long piece of plastic wrap as long as you want it to be. So I'm only going to just take a little piece because I already have another one um, ready to go here. But you would make this as long as you want it. You could make it three feet, four feet, one foot, however you want. So take a piece of plastic wrap as long as you want it and then fold it in half. fold it in half and give it a good press. That makes it a little bit stronger. And then what we're gonna do, this might be really long this way, we are going to cut it in half this way, down the whole length. So then we wind up with two pieces that we can use to make our snippet rolls. And so we're just going to hold on to the plastic and just cut it in half. Now, like I said when I showed you the, the paper roll, and where it was ironed on. Whoops, let me grab that. And I told you that, you know, my my plastic was only or my iron-on was only this wide, and that's because that is how wide I cut my plastic wrap. So that's why my iron-on is that wide. Now, you need to make sure that you cover all of the plastic. So if you don't want to make a snippet roll that's wider than this, because you definitely don't want to get this on your iron so then you could just cut it in half again like that and then you would just have to make your snippet roll a little wider than that so you can make your your iron arm part as thick or as thin as you want it and Again, knowing that you have to cover the whole thing so that your whatever you're making is going to be wider than however wide you cut your iron-on part. So, and then um, we are going to, and here is, let's see, where is it? Here it is. 
here's the one that I have to make today. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make it this long or not. I'm just going to make it as long as how much fabric I have. But this was the other half of this iron-on snippet roll. And so that's, you wind up with two. For every bit that you pull out, you wind up with two snippet rolls or two iron-on pieces. So I'm going to um, put my sewing machine up here, hope that I can figure out a good way where you can see it, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my plastic here all ready to go, and then I have my fabrics in the order that I want to sew them. And so I am just going to start by lining up my first fabric below my plastic. I want this plastic to stick out the top so that I have something to hold on to. If you line them up like this, very possibly your plastic could get caught in your machine if you line them right up. So you want to make sure and leave yourself some plastic there so when you put it in, you can hold on to the plastic and the fabric to move it through your machine. I've chosen zigzag and my threads are light blue on the top and brown in the bobbin just because that's what was there and that's what I'm gonna use. And so all I'm going to do is just line it up. I have to have my needle in the up position. Let me grab my thread because it's gonna go down in there. There we go, pull my thread back. Make sure I've got my plastic sticking out. Put the plastic through until your needle lines up with just about the edge, just above the edge of your fabric. So you're going to start actually your first stitch or so will be on the plastic and then it will come onto our fabric. And my foot pedal here. And then we're just going to hold on to the plastic and the fabric and just start sewing. I don't I don't go back and forth to lock it in and the reason I don't do that is because I'm going to cut this up anyway so no matter what it's not going to have a knotted end um, you know once you cut it so so I'm just holding on to the plastic and the fabric on each side and then just go ahead and go forward probably about three quarters of the way and then I like to take my next piece and tuck it underneath and the reason that I do that is because if you put it over top, as you're coming through, it might want to catch and pull that. If you put it underneath, it's not in the way at all, and, it, and to me it will just move smoother. And I need to make sure that I have my plastic covered every time I put a new piece of fabric on there. And then I'm just going to hold the back and just help guide it, but don't pull it. Go about three quarters of the way through and then add your next piece of fabric. Again, making sure that your plastic is covered. And then the next one is my burlap. So I'm gonna put the cotton fabric down first and then go ahead and put the burlap on there making sure that the burlap is completely on the white so that the plastic isn't coming through the burlap when we iron it. And our next piece. And this really does go fast. Once you know what fabrics you're gonna use, you just put them on there and and sew it and then in a lot of snippets you might want to put little things on top okay kind of felt like it was sticking there but it doesn't look like it is so this is a slippery piece of fabric I don't think I want that tucked up there that much and again, make sure you keep your make sure you keep your plastic straight. We only just have a couple more pieces to go. And I know you're supposed to go the same speed when you sew, but 
I'm not much of a sewer, so I'm not real good at that. Now this one right here, they don't meet up real well, but I know that the plastic is covered. That's all I need to know. Put our little ruffle under that one. And our last piece. And just come to the end of your fabric and you are done. Up. And then I'm just going to cut this off. I'm going to cut the plastic and the thread all at the same time. And there we go. Now this is what our fabric snippet roll looks like. And when we get to this end here, we need to make sure that we come in and cut this plastic off. Now make sure you don't leave any sticking out above your fabric because you don't want that to get melt and get on your iron. So I'm making sure that that plastic is cut just, just barely under where that, the plastic is a little bit shorter than the fabric, just barely. And this one's not sticking out either, so we are good to go. So there we go. Alrighty, now I'm going to bring the ironing board out and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and we have our whole snippet roll here. And this is what it looks like. And again, like I said, you know, a lot of people like to add different things to the top and you can do that. I have just a piece of white fabric here because we're going to iron this onto that piece of white fabric. Um, if, I have to find my scissors, here they are. If you, um, not if. This is not made for like washing. So it's it's not something that you're going to want to, um, you know, put on like as a patch or something on some clothes. It's like maybe you want to iron it to the front of a, a, a fabric journal or something like that. So I'm going to say, well, why don't we just cut it just, let's cut the burlap in half. So I still have a little bit of burlap. And then that will also give us a little white edge at the top and bottom, I think. So there's a piece of our snippet. And we're just gonna put it right on our fabric. I can see that I have plastic sticking out here, so I definitely don't want that to happen. I'm gonna cut that back just a little bit. On both sides, not a lot, because remember that's our, that's our um, iron on medium, so we don't wanna remove too much of it. My scissors don't really want to cut that plastic. There we go. All right, now make sure you get those pieces out of there so that they don't melt to your iron. This end looks good. So we're just going to put it on there. I have my iron and my iron is set on linen, cotton, and wool. So this is a very hot setting because we need to melt our iron on. So now the other thing that you're going to have to be careful of is choosing your fabrics, fabrics that will not melt or be ruined with a hot iron. And I'm going to just and you just want to go slow. Don't let it sit still and I am pressing down a bit too. Don't let it sit still. You don't want to, you know, like burn it, but you want to stay in the same area for a little while. You don't really want to iron you know, like back and forth like this, um, because you need the, the heat to melt the plastic. So just like, you know, regular iron-ons where you move slowly and let that iron-on medium melt. And so that's what we're doing here. Just giving that time to grab hold. And then when it's done, you don't want to try and pull it apart right away. It will pull apart right away um, because it needs time to, to cool down before it is actually glued right on. And so, um, you know, you want to, when you look at it, be very careful about peeling it apart. And if you don't iron it long enough, 
and the plastic has not melted enough to stick to the um, whatever you're ironing it onto, um, just iron it some more. And, and again, keep your heat in the same spot, but moving for a little while to give that plastic time to melt. So, and you could even turn it over. I, I don't do that, but I suppose you could turn it over because it's completely covered with the white fabric behind. Whoops, I guess I don't really want to iron that piece all folded up. And so there we go, that's probably long enough. We will find out and see. Now down here where the burlap is, it might have to be ironed a little bit longer because the heat has to go through the burlap, which is quite thick, and then it has to go through the white fabric underneath the burlap that I put on there. And so, you know, so that may take a little bit longer. And so let's see how this turned out. So there it is, it's now on our fabric, and we will look carefully, and the plastic starts there, because it shrunk when I, after I cut it, it shrunk down a bit. So it starts right there, and if I wanted to pull it right now, see that is hooked together, and it's hooked together all the way along there see that's ironed right on there if I did want to pull it off I could pull it off much easier now than later it's actually already starting to pull a thread out of the white fabric and I don't know if you can see that little triangle of the melted plastic right there is where it is it goes there and there and that is what we ironed on just like a regular iron-on patch of some sort you could even make patches this way again making sure that you keep your plastic underneath whatever you're ironing so that your iron does not um I just want to melt that little corner back down so that your iron does not um, get the Yep, and it did re-iron, so that's good. Um, we don't want the plastic to get on our iron. Now, you could also put a piece of parchment paper on top if you were if you had your plastic out to the edge and you kind of wanted to keep it there, but you were afraid of getting it on your iron. Put a piece of parchment over the top and then iron the whole thing. And that way, if that plastic melts outside the edge of your fabric or whatever you're putting on, um, it's not going to get on your iron. So there we go. That is our very own iron-on snippet roll. I think that they're very cool and they're fun. You can just use them to chop up and you know you've got it. You can just roll it up and set it aside just like every other snippet roll but it's right there ready to iron on um, when you want to use it. So I do understand that we do not have an iron for our Build Your Stash and Craft series um, and being that this is a no shop a no shopping time I did go ahead and choose to use my iron. I, this is my craft room iron. Um, if you are going to use your home iron, you would want to make sure you put some parchment or something, you know, under it. You don't want to ruin your home iron. But, um, and you may even be able to use your heat gun to melt it and, um, and just push it down. Let's try that. I have my heat gun here. Yes, I do. Um, all righty. Hold on just a second. I will unplug my iron, plug in my heat gun. There we go. And we'll try putting it on a piece of paper. So I'll just take a little bit. since we don't know if it's going to work or not set our snippet aside and then just put that on there just like that now we're going to want to press this down what are we going to press it with because we don't want to put our hand under the heat gun but let's see um i will be right back i'm going to just find something that i can push on this with and i'll be right back Okay, I'm back, so let's let our heat gun get warmed up a little bit. And this we do have in our series, so if this works, that would be great. And I did kind of think that a lot of people do have an iron that they can use, and we have parchment paper in our series, so I just thought that this would be a fun thing to do. Okay, the 
heat gun is hot so I'm going to just kind of hold it in one spot and then I'm just going to press down with this pencil and then move it over a little bit and press down wanting to press down right under where it's getting hot right where I think the plastic may be melting I can tell you one thing that this fabric right here is melting just a little bit with the heat of the heat gun now I'm not sure that I may be melting the plastic underneath faster than I'm able to push it down I really don't know we will find out and of course if you have something else you could use don't use something metal don't hold something metal under your heat gun because it will get hot and burn your hand. Let's just try and get it over here. I'll turn this off for a second and just try pressing down on it. Make sure it's not too hot when you touch it. And then it is it is very 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 warm so the thing is is that just like the other one even when you use your iron you can't try and see if it has stuck until it cools down um, because that plastic has got to have time to cool off and actually glue itself so we're gonna find out now I only did this half so then if it works then I could turn it around and just do the other half but we're just gonna see if it works this looks like it's awfully bumped up. It does not look glued down. There's the plastic right there. Actually, right here where we melted the fabric, that's pretty much where it melted down. It does not stick that well. So I would say you do really need an iron so you could maybe play with that a little bit and have something that's maybe a little bit wider to press on you know i'm not sure but um the heat gun does not work that well so you would need some kind of an iron but there we go there are snippet rolls they're fun to make and you can just have them ready to iron on like that whenever you want to and here's the paper one I did exactly the same way leaving a little bit of plastic at the top before I started and then just again zigzagging it all the way down and so there is our plastic one all set to go and that's what that looks like ironed right on to the paper so thank you very much for stopping by I really do appreciate it I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you all have an outstanding day Bye-bye.